Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to a video as part of the Joystick Binding series. In this series, I'm showcasing how some YouTube and Twitch content creators configure their dual joysticks. My main goal is to put my personal bias aside and evaluate its effectiveness, how intuitive it might be, pros and possible cons. I strongly suggest that you watch part one first as it explains the backstory of the series. It's linked up for you right now. So let's begin. Nimrod77 is a YouTuber who's done some great work on Star Citizen. He has some insightful content on his YouTube and you should totally go check him out. His link is in the description. He was nice enough to send me a detailed breakdown of his configuration. He has a Thrustmaster Warthog on the right and a Thrustmaster T16000M on the left with a set of pedals. His left stick is fully focused on transitional movements but with a twist. His X is left and right, his Y is front and back, but instead of binding strafe for both, he's used software to map the positive for throttle and the negative to strafe. He said that that accomplishes a couple things. First of all, he can see the throttle number in the HUD. And second, he still gets engine noises when the ship is flying. Still talking about the left stick, he has the Z or twist action as up and down. His right stick and pedals do all the rotation. X is yaw, Y is pitch, and Z is roll. It's a very nice layout that keeps all the motion types apart. X, Y, Z are on your left hand, and Omega Phi Kappa are on your right hand and pedals. So let's break it down. Does it meet the goal, and is it an effective controller model? Well, it does give the user 100% fine control over 6 degrees of freedom. It doesn't require the user to move their hands from any control surface to perform any of the operations. The only minor pitfall might be the software to split the controller axis. Like before, this will be dead frustrating to adopt from mouse and keyboard cold turkey. If you're a pilot transitioning from HOTAS with pedals, it could be a very simple adjustment. Either way, I strongly suggest that you manage your own personal expectations and prepare to put some time into training. The cost is above average, pedals are 200, the right stick is 300, and the left stick is 50. Hands on hands off is totally solid. It scores 100% for the number of degrees of freedom, and I would rate the learning curve as average. I hope this quick overview gives you some suggestions on how you might configure your own sim pit. This series is going to be limited to very short one or two minute videos. A special thanks to Nimrod77 for sending me the information I needed to showcase his bindings. My goal is always to grow my channel, and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Stay tuned, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.